Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a new summarized table from an existing table. So think about this you have an existing table of 50 columns or 60 column or 40 columns you know it's a large table but you want to have another table which is summarized that means maybe two or three columns along with the summarized value like sales profit or something for example uh, regional sales or product sales you know situation like those then how you can create an altogether separate table which is sometimes useful to show uh, you know a specific summary to your um, to to your data or let's say for another scenario or something you want to achieve by creating this separate summarized table so a functionality is present in power bi and i want to show you how you can achieve this before that, just a quick information that the sheet which you are seeing right here, which contains all of my Power BI, Power BI tutorial videos, uh, the link for this sheet is present in the description. So you can simply go to the description of this video, click on this link and you will have this sheet. And you can search any of my video which is uh, for which the title is present in the column A. And after searching, you can jump to the video using the link which is present in the column B. That way, the searching of the video, uh, you know, becomes easy as compared to searching it there in the YouTube, which is painful. Also, you can create your own playlist based on, let's say you want to learn DAX, you want to learn dashboards, or you want to learn visualization techniques, all of that I have posted. So right now I am on 175th video and I will keep on posting it. And since it is a live Google Sheet, you will always have this sheet most up to date based on what videos I have posted. So make sure you bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. All right, with that information, let me go to the Power BI. Okay, so again, the situation is very simple. Um, you have this huge table and for certain reasons, you want to create a separate table for uh, let's say a category or let's say you have regional sales or you have segment sales and things like those so how you can do that is by coming over here in data section sorry uh, yeah you can come in data or you can come go into the model anyways fine and you click on the uh, new table when you click on the new table it will give you this um, edit this this editable formula and here let's call it regional sales okay and over here we will going to use the function summarize and within summarize the first parameter it is asking is the table name so we will going to provide the table name which is the orders this one right orders select the second one press enter comma group by column so what column you want to group it by so we want to group it by region right and then uh, if you want another column to be grouped by then you can specify that as well for example let's say category by region and by category we want to get it and then uh, we want to specify if there is one more column by which you want to group you can specify but now i will jump to the next parameter which is name so name of the column basically give it give the name to the summarized column so this will be like uh, sales right comma now you have the expression so expression will be your what sum of sales so this is the setting you need to provide to the summarize function to get the correct output so now you see instead of this huge table which you are having it over here let's say for certain scenario you want to just have a separate table because it will simplify your calculations and everything in the front end right if this is a very simple table you want to show uh, and you are already using a lots of calculations so you can create a table and then show it directly over there or want to create a different connection altogether for a specific scenario you can do that but the whole idea is this you can use the summarize function and create a new table which is regional sales and as you can see this is showing a calculator uh, sign which is which indicates that it is a calculated table so that's something you can create 
from the existing table and something which I want to do show here in this video. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.